Hello everyone, uh, this is part 5 of my uh, Byzantine Civilization 5 uh, game. Uh, this is a marathon game on a huge map with low sea level. Okay, so... I guess... Uh, all there is to it here is to uh, get things uh, rolling along again here. Uh, this is turn 516, so it's uh, quite a quite a long way into the game here. Uh, I got a reasonably decent starting location, but it was a little bit less than ideal for production for secondary cities. Anyway, I've got good food production in my capital, uh, so uh, instead of what I usually do, which is uh, uh, send food via trade routes to the capital, I'm going to actually send production. And that will uh, get me uh, uh, wonders and stuff quite a lot faster. Whoa, I've managed to get an influential culture. Uh, let's uh, check on that. Um, Carthage, apparently. Um, right. Uh, looks like I'm going to uh, reach that relatively quickly with others as well. I just need to keep my tourism output up. Now, uh, my religion is actually what's allowing me to do that. Uh, basically, I've got two religious buildings that I can purchase with faith, uh, pagodas and mosques. And uh, with that, I took the uh, Reformation belief that uh, gives two tourism for each building purchased with faith. And that uh, is a great way to get an early tourism lead and uh, that means that I'm almost certainly going to get a uh, culture victory in this game uh, unless something goes horribly wrong and it forces me into taking a different tactic okay what to do here uh, these are all grassland forests so there isn't a lot of production actually around uh, Varna here. Uh, and that means uh, I probably don't want to replace all of those with farms. So I'm going to start with replacing the uh, or putting farms on the desert here. Uh, this these desert tiles have fresh water access. This is a lake. Uh, so that means the farms are going to do better sooner. Once the workshop is completed here, I'll start sending production up to uh, Constantinople. And the same thing from Varna and the same thing from Nikia. Nikea? I should look up how to pronounce that one of these days. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've mangled it pretty bad uh, and I'm fine with that. Uh, uh, there's worse ones to uh, try and pronounce in the game. Oh, looky, another barbarian encampment. Okay, let's uh, just... Okay, so theology in 14. Okay. Uh, I can never remember where that stuff's at, so I just keep that open. And we got ourselves a great prophet to do something with. Uh... 
What would be a good spot to plant the profit? Well, well, this is grassland on the coast. And I think that'll be a, a, a reasonable place. Uh, so the reason for doing that instead of using the profits to spread uh, uh, to spread religion is simply because uh, you get uh, you get something from having them as an improvement. And when you get the uh, right uh, policies, uh, you actually get culture or gold from those as well. Um, what? Oh, right. That's what happens when you send two units to the same square, you know. Uh, only one can be there. And fortunately, the game's smart enough to stop the uh, move to the destination when the remote square is occupied. Uh, it's annoying sometimes, but it's helpful more often than it's not. Okay, we got our uh, workshop here. Uh, aqueduct uh, will help for growth, so I think I'll go for that. Or maybe the temple. No, I'll go aqueduct first. So when this uh, trade route uh, uh, needs to re-up, I'll switch it over. I finish the workshop here as well. Go for the library there. And now I'll assign this one to move production to uh, Constantinople. Uh, I could get a bunch of gold uh, for my empire by uh, using the trade routes and that's actually helpful if you're looking for uh, basically bribing city-states. Uh, oh look I kept my expansion promise so that means that uh, you know I can the mostest literate uh, that's number of texts. Casimir has 27 I'm way down at the bottom with 24, so I'm three behind. So I, I need to really step up my science. Uh, that's fine. Uh, that will happen as I build my libraries and get my population up. Anyway, I want to get a couple of the National Wonders out before I... Uh, um, Uh, before I uh, plant a couple more cities. Um, I've got plenty of spare happiness at the moment, so uh, it wouldn't be a, a big uh, a loss to do that. Uh, okay, so the National Epic, I definitely want that finished before I put another city. Uh, these National Wonders, they take more uh, to build as... Uh, as you you increase the number of cities okay so pasture there go over for these horses uh, whale on this horse here there we go uh, so that uh, clears that barbarian, uh, which is uh, good. Now he's not going to send anything after uh, my uh, other stuff here. Okay, now what to do with that uh, swordsman? Well, I'll send him up here, just, uh, just in case that's still there when he gets there. Okay, and we need a pasture on those horses. So I got lots of horses. 
so uh, what I can do for uh, an army expansion is start building horsemen uh, or cataphracts I guess uh, Horsemen or cataphracts uh, eventually upgrade to um, modern armors, which are uh, quite good for uh, uh, for uh, attacking. Uh, warriors, uh, swordsmen, they up upgrade ultimately to uh, uh, mechanized infantry, uh, which uh, is reasonably good for attacking and reasonably good for uh, for defense and as I recall they don't have a special uh, resource they need to build them. What that means is you don't have to uh, worry about uh, a resource availability uh, to actually use them. Uh, you just have to uh, be able to pay for them, pay the upkeep. Uh, what to do with this swordsman here? Probably park him in the city here. Okay, so... So planes, forests are actually quite nice. Uh, they're actually worth chopping, unless you know if you want, to, uh, uh, if you don't want a, a net negative on food. You, if you put a farm on there, you, you'll end up with uh, even growth and keep the production point. Uh, right. Uh, if you want lots of production, then you can definitely build the lumber mills on there. Now, swordsman. Okay. Park it. Uh, okay, that's a library coming up. I got theology this turn. There we go. Uh, now what to uh, research? Okay, compass gives me the harbor. Machinery will give me ironworks. Uh, Uh, okay, education. What's anchor watt? Yeah. I'm going to go for education. I, I want to see if I can get anchor watt. Uh, right. Uh, finished a library there. Uh, yeah, aqueduct's a good idea. Uh, there is a policy that gives you a free aqueduct in your first four cities, uh, but I'm nowhere near it, so I might as well build them. Uh, when I do actually get that policy, if I go for it, I think I will be, uh, that will just remove the upkeep, I believe. Okay, so that's a farm. Uh, right. So real soon now I'll get another social policy, so that'll be good. Uh, right. Okay, there's another spot over there. Uh, farm the desert. Okay, this would be a good time to actually bribe Tyre. Uh, let's just take a look here. Uh, horses, gold, jewelry. That might actually be worth doing. Okay. Oh, Polynesia doesn't like it. 
Eh, we'll say we're sorry. We really aren't. But, you know, the same amount of clicking either way. Ah, it's a pikeman. Uh, what have we got here? Combat versus mounted. Movement through forest. Movement through forest. Okay, Barbarian cleared. Now, policy. Okay, this is our free uh, person. Um, if we complete this, we get culture from holy sites. Um, so that would be worth doing. But this one, we get a golden age. So that's definitely good. And our so our cost for policies goes goes down. Okay. Uh, we can select ourselves a great person. Now, what do we want here? A writer, engineer, scientist. Merchant. I'm going to collect engineers. Uh, so I've completed a workshop here. Uh, I will construct a caravan there now. Right. So I'm parking these uh, engineers outside the city to uh, make so I don't have to remember to move them if I try to purchase a uh, civilian non combat unit. Because it's annoying when you get in there to purchase and then you discover that you can't because there's something in the way. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to go after that again. I notice that these uh, encampments like to pop up in the same squares all the time. I guess hexes, really. to build. Temple. That'll do. most of this area done. Grassland, that's tundra, so really you want to leave the uh, forest there and make a lumber mill. What's this give me? A free mosque. 
great engineer points. Okay. You may have noticed I kind of like the great engineers. Um, that's for a couple reasons. One, you can hurry wonders with them. And two, uh, if you don't need them for that, you can uh, use them as more effective mines or whatever. Uh, or to generate production from any land tile that you can actually build on, so anything other than mountains. Okay, so put a lumber mill there. Right. Oh look, another one. Okay, so we had an, um right. So I'll build the temple. And we will not take part in somebody else's war, just like always. Okay. got here. So that's a temple. Uh, well, I'm going to build barracks in every city as well, because there's a national wonder from that too. Okay, now we can redo this uh, and notice that the C routes give uh, significantly more, uh, twice as much approximately, uh, when moving between cities. I don't know why that is really, it just is. And of course you have to re-establish these periodically. Um, Right. Build the caravan for this one as well. So we have four cities other than the capital, so there will be four trade routes feeding into the capital. A barbarian encampment discovered. Huh. Oh, that's not all that far off either. Uh, I think uh, at some point I'll build my uh, sixth city up in here or over down there. Ah, right. Now, what to do here? See, these are grassland and there isn't any real production potential on grassland, but there are hills and stone in range. Um, what I'm going to do is make sure I get that one. Uh, 
Okay, so I think I can get away with making farms instead. Uh, so that's a temple there. Uh, yeah, stable's worth it. So this gives me a production tile. Uh, I really do need to do that. Uh, and buying it preemptively means uh, Arabia, Mecca here, is not going to steal it. I'm not worried about these ones because they're not uh, critical ones. And they're further away from Mecca now. Okay. That's everything in the cultural border for Antioch right now. So I'll just uh, head on up there. And clear that camp. Keep calling them camps, but they're actually encampments. Uh, there is a uh, encampment there, so I should make sure to clear that if I'm going to have a worker wandering about. Right, and there was one popped up. Where was it? Over here. Okay, that's a swordsman. Okay. Now well, that's going to be a farm. These are floodplains, so they're actually kind of good for uh, um, farming. Okay, yeah, we'll let uh, open borders with Genghis. Okay, that's a caravan there. Uh, I'm going to build that Colosseum uh, so I can get the Circus Maximus. And I'll send my production to Constantinople. That's Polynesian, okay. Okay, Barbarian cleared. Good. think yeah over here I do have enough production based tiles for Adrianople with the C tiles uh, with the mods I'm using I'll get uh, a uh, fairly substantial uh, amount of production ultimately from the C tiles so uh, basically, the uh, seaport uh, built on top of the harbor means you get like two or three food and one production from the water tiles, uh, which is a lot better than the uh, stock game where they're basically worthless. So I'm going to actually start building the uh, lighthouse stuff and so on there. Uh, going to whale on this guy. Okay, so that's uh, that one's cleared. Uh, let's see.
No, I'll just send him home. Uh, that's also tundra with a forest, so I'll uh, build a lumber mill there. Um, I'm looking for heavy production in my capital. That's what I'm looking for. Where's Polynesia's uh, army there heading? That's an interesting question. Well, it looks like they're heading across. Uh, okay, that guy can... Where's my warrior? Right. Ah, right. I've got a caravan there now. So I'll send my production to Constantinople. Um, and start update upgrading those tiles. Uh, right, I need to build something here now. That would be good. Uh, stable, I think. Stable gives you plus one production for uh, horses and so on. So that's definitely worth building. A Colosseum there. Uh, right. Okay, looks like he's gearing up for an invasion of somebody. Uh, is he heading for Mecca? Or is he... Okay, I got the Great Mosque. And education. So, we'll mine the hill there. I could have made a farm there because of the fresh water, but I actually want the production. Um, I can get all the farms I want in the surrounding area. Uh, okay, science. I need to science something here. Uh, opera house. Okay, the Sistine Chapel. Ah, it's worth rushing the Sistine Chapel. Ah, okay. Angkor Wat. So you can see I've got some pretty decent uh, production going there. 49. Uh, which is quite good, actually. Uh, let's whale on some barbarians, shall we? Well, that cleared the Barbarian. Okay, Warrior can go home now. Well, Swordsman really, but still. Where are they going? Okay, Casimir has done Notre Dame. Ah, that's a lighthouse. Okay, Forge is good. I'm going to get a plus one production from the iron. So that's definitely good. For fun, I might actually uh, uh, set up a, uh, 
a, a war here uh, and just uh, attempt to uh, take over my neighbors or something. Uh, I could go for a domination victory uh, where I just capture everybody's original capital, but that's a pain on a huge map. You probably don't want to go for a domination victory on a huge map. Ooh, I got influential with uh, Mongolia. Usually for the culture victory, you'll find it fairly easy to get influential with uh, half or so of the civilizations, a little harder uh, for most of the rest, and then one or two will be difficult, and you'll actually have to work at it. Which is uh, actually kind of good. Okay, so they've gone through the pass. There's a, a swordsman following behind. Uh... Okay, who's he attacking? He's going for the Arabs, it looks like. Not very efficient at moving units, the, uh, the AI. Okay, that's going to be a mine. Where to put a... Uh, Well, no, I don't, I don't think I want to stick it in there. Maybe one of these grasslands over here. Why did acoustics go from 40 to 38? Oh, probably population growth somewhere. No longer ally of Ormus. Eh. Time to build some markets, I think, just to uh, cover the gold here. Ah, it's a caravan. This gets uh, really tedious, uh, re-initializing the uh, caravans all the time. Politely decline the war. Uh, no, we're not going to do the uh, friendship thing. Right. This is grassland. So that one I'll make a farm out of plant the profit here. Ooh, a denunciation. Uh, I gotta reinitialize that one too. Uh, I said I was gonna make a farm there. Uh, that's a stable. Need a market. Uh, production. Uh, yeah, go for a temple. Uh, 
so I'll put a pasture on the sheep there. That's done. I'll farm the wheat. Then I'll start working through the rest of these tiles, doing something with them. So what I'm going to do once I get uh, some of this stuff uh, better placed in the cities, I'm going to start uh, adding uh, uh, ranged units to garrison the cities. And what that will do is uh, allow uh, basically the city to attack and then the garrisoned unit to attack. Uh, any interlopers that come along, uh, which is generally quite a uh, useful thing, as it essentially doubles the strength of the city. But anyway, I'm going to pause this part here as I have an interruption. Okay, achievement unlocked. Uh, interruption handled. Uh, right, where was I? Well, that was a lot of nothing. Okay, what to build here? Market. Let's see. Um, Yeah, I'll go for the uh, amphitheater. That's a uh, cultural building. Ooh, Angkor Wat. Uh, what's this one do? Yep, that's definitely a good one to build. No need to hurry it, though. Um, what do I get from here? Gold. What do I get from here? Okay, I can afford to let that lapse at this point in time, so I'll keep my gold reserves then. Uh, 
Okay, forge. Um, yeah, I need to uh, get some cultural buildings out, so I'll do that. Barbarians everywhere. Okay, I'll go after that encampment. Um, have any others popped up that I haven't noticed? No, okay. Right, I wanted to have a barracks in every city as well, so I'll do that. That'll be useful when I'm uh, actually training units as well. Ooh, a spy. Um, I think I'll be uh, setting one of those in Mecca, being my immediate neighbor and all. Uh, Arabia, Mecca. There we go. Ah. Barracks. Oh, well, that was annoying. Alhambra would have been nice, um, but uh, for my uh, game style, it's not uh, overly beneficial. So it's not as big a loss as it might be. Attila wants uh, free passage. Well, why not? Huh. Uh, now it's time to work on uh, the rest of this area here. It's uh, worth noting that I don't uh, just uh, improve the uh, hexes that I'm currently uh, having under production. Um, there's no particular uh, reason not to, since most of the improvements don't cost anything. Uh, and then they're there uh, when you do need to put them into, into production. Ah, right. Okay, back over to here, and on with the farming. Now, uh, it is worth 
rebribing um, tire um, simply because of what they uh, they do provide uh, two luxury resources in point of fact and uh, that's definitely worth having enemy near Antioch that's gotta be the the boat Mecca has quite a bit of tourism going, but I have five of the top ten. So, you know, which is better? Ah, uh, right. Uh, just a few turns for the Circus Maximus. That's forest grassland. I have a decent number of tiles here, but and I'll have production here. Okay, I'll uh, farm that one. This really gets tedious, but at least it tells you what the previous one was. Uh, so that's a barracks. And go for the amphitheater. Yeah, culture, after all. Oh, I'm going to have uh, a social policy real soon now. seems logical to uh, mine that at least. Ah, policy. It might be worth uh, completing this, but opening this will allow me to take uh, this path uh, which will help so here we go right we need a library in every city for that uh, so now it's time to catch up on these other buildings here so I'll start with a barracks oh I should build a uh, work boat here too uh, to uh, improve this. Uh, right. Uh, one more farm there and a mine there. We can farm it because of the fresh water, but the mine is uh, more useful there. Uh, amphitheater is done there. Um... Yeah, I'll build the university first. Uh, I was thinking about a uh, ranged unit there. Uh, I have iron. I'll build the forge. 
Right. So Antioch is uh, spreading out nicely there. Uh, friendly. Oh, it's one of Attila's. Okay. Right. Um, okay, I need to uh, redo that one. Uh, there was an enemy near Antioch. Where? Oh, and there's one here. Okay. Uh, right. It woke up because of the proximity of this uh, barbarian here. I'll have acoustics real soon now. Uh, right. So start the damage, complete the damage. And then I'll just have to fix that uh, camp there. Uh, though fortunately it's not a particularly big loss. But where did that bar... Oh! That's where that barbarian came from. Uh, okay, we've got a barracks there. Okay, we need a couple more barracks for the heroic epic. Uh, we'll go with the temple now. Notice the really small turn count for building those things. That's because of the trade routes and everything. Okay, so I'll head over here. And I'll just fix that. And then I'll go back and finish the farm. Mostly because the smoke's annoying. Uh, so we built a barracks there. That's good. I'll go for the library now. Uh, so repair. And we're going to get acoustics. So I'm going to want to go for the opera house. Or, or rather the... Oh, Sistine Chapel, rather. Okay, acoustics. We're in the Renaissance era now. Going to get another promotion on that unit soon. Now what? Uh, physics might be good for a trebuchet before I start building uh, uh, my defensive units, but um, I also want to get astronomy out. Uh, I think that's what allows passage through ocean tiles. Ooh, met the Inca. I suspect I'm not going to be hosting the World Congress for its first iteration here. Um, I don't think I've met everybody yet, that's why. And it's got to be getting close for printing press to come out by somebody. Uh, okay, that's cleared. I'll uh, send my uh, swordsman home. Uh, right. And we'll not be getting into the fight. Uh, okay, we're ready for a uh, project here. Um, plus 25% culture in all cities. Um, that one is worth hurrying. I don't want to get sniped on it. Yeah, we'll do the embassy with the Inca. Yeah, I think there's one more that I haven't met. Ah, Musicians Guild will be good to uh, get out. Uh, 
Ah, right. So this guy is getting parked. Okay, so I'm coming up on where I'm going to actually end the part here. Uh, no, I don't want to go to war. I'm nowhere near prepared for going to war. The enemy has been spotted. Where? Well, there is a camp there, so or there at least used to be. So I should check that out just to Okay, that's good. I'll finish that up now. Okay, that we can do. Open borders improves your uh, tourism impact, so it's uh, often worth doing when there's no real chance of a fight. Uh, you know, a circus is nice because it has no upkeep. So, uh, right, need to finish the farm there. Well, there really is a barbarian there. So I'll clear that camp and then go ahead and uh, end the part. Yep, uh, it was Poland that uh, gets the uh, World Congress. Well, I stopped exploring, so, you know, that's why. Uh, and that's fine. But apparently, uh, we're the next rank down, so we get to uh, uh, select a uh, suggestion. I'm going to go with World's Fair. Uh, okay, so we'll attack that guy. Uh, apparently, Polynesia likes that. And Portugal. And the Huns. And Poland. Uh, generally, the uh, AIs are not upset about the cooperative projects being proposed. So it's, it's often worth uh, proposing them. And it doesn't bother them if you happen to win them either, near as I can tell. Ooh, a promotion. So I've got March. So I'll go for Blitz. Okay. Cleared the uh, Barbarian there. So I will... I'll send my uh, guy home. Uh... Right. So that'll be just about everything around Constantinople. I'll uh, re-establish this. And... There we go. I'm going to call that the end of part five. Uh, so... Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching so far, uh, and I'll see you back for part six.